Oh, hello! Hello, guys. How's it going? Why is the music not stopping? The music should not... It's... Okay, there. Sorry. Okay. That was weird. Uh, my... Webcam just randomly decided not to turn on. Anyway. But we're back to Yakuza 4. Let's go see what this question mark is. And it better not be some weirdo to ask him to do something. Boarded in restaurant employee attempted to dine in dash her on North Pink Street. All nearby units report. I want to kind of find where that is. It's not here, is it? No. Let me see. Uh, where is North Street? I don't even see it. Oh, here. No, I just saw it. Okay, anyway. I found it. That's good. So it's, I was actually right by it. <laughs> Which is ironic. Move. People. Well, you need to pay somehow. Shh. Sat up. I said I got no money. Lost my goddamn wallet. Trying to skip out on the bill? You want me to cuff you right here? Huh? What the hell? Get lost. So what'll it be, sir? Pay or take a trip to the station with me? I'll pay. By all means, let me pay. Ugh. Happy to pay for your trouble. Let me just settle this lightly. Why would you pay me? So we basically took a, br a bribe. Sorry about all the trouble I've caused you. Thank you so much. Are you just... Alright, whatever. Hey, darling. I just got back from Okinawa. Hmm? Oh, don't tell me it's them. Uh, what? When did you go to Okinawa? No, it's not good. We've been hanging out, like, every day these past few weeks. Mm. Online. Silly. Signed up for this thing called Amoy Bat... Amo Bat... Batar. You can make your little person go all sorts of places. Oh. oh. Is that the... Is that the thing where you make an avatar and then you use it to play games and stuff? That's right. <laughs> Some of my online friends and I went on a virtual trip to Okinawa. You should give it a try, darling. Mm. If I did, you might stop be begging me to take places all the time. Mm. What was that? Yeah. Oh, nothing. <laughs> I'll sign up when I get home. <laughs> Yay. I love you so much, darling. Hey, once you get signed up, let's go to Okinawa together. Sounds like something the girls at the club would be into. Jeez. 
I can't go no. I go over there. Just wanna see if it would let me though. I'm trying to parry. Wouldn't let me though. Hmm. Really? Alright. Just the cop is up here. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Question mark. Oh, here we go. There's been a chain of car break-ins around here lately. What? You can't be serious. Car break-ins, huh? Well, that sucks. Because if I see one happening, I'll need to arrest who's ever responsible. Oh, it's this guy. The town's rimming in danger. That won't. Oh, okay. Here, walk away with your wallet. Okay. There are so many awesome games. Okay, cool. There's a couple playing the UFO over there. Good at winning things. All right. There we go. Watch. Watch what happens. Good job. What? No.
Noni, no, 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 Fire three revelations. Okay. One stuffed animal was flying in an arc. Then it hit another stuffed animal and knocked it down. If I throw one person into another with great force, I might just do damage to them both. It's a revelation. It might hurt more than one heal. All. But hey, good for them. They won. Hey, look at that sweet ass bag. You know there's a cop, there's, well, there's me and then there's another cop not far from me. But we can make a fortune on that. People are so careless that they want us to steal it that bad that we're happy to oblige. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Those guys must be, okay, yep. I'd rather not deal with this crap, but I'll get my head shoot off later if I leave the scene. If I charge in and run, be too much facile. One open. Yeah. What do you mean? The other one opened without a hitch. Hey, what are you guys up to? Huh? Oh, I can't get this lock to open. Why won't it budge? Come on. No. Remote control key, huh? Is that the key to that car? Well, not to this specific car, no, but it should work on all cars with keys like this. Just worked on another car. So you just, okay. Wow, that sounds pretty convenient. Let me have a look at it. Okay, but you can't have it. That's right. That key is a vital part of our business. Wow, I've never seen one of that one of these before. Where'd you get it? Oh, they sell them on the internet. Yeah, you can get anything online nowadays. Oh, yeah? Tell me the name of the site, will you? Ooh. Don't tell me you're one of those bozos who still picks the locks by hand. You're way behind the times, man. This is the digital era, baby. All you gotta do is point, click, and zap. The shit pops right off. Yeah. By the way, I'm actually a cop. <laughs> so what are you using this for again? Uh, an experiment? Yeah, that's right. Just to see if, you know, it would actually open or not. Oh, yeah? Sounds like an interesting experiment. Hey, what did he, we do now? We have to use our hands, heads. I think just through this. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? Here, we just got this wallet a minute ago. I'll give you half of what's inside if you look at the other way. This time. <laughs> Idiot. We already had him fooled with the line about it being an experiment. Actually, I didn't fall for that at all. You didn't? See? See? Talk to us, shithead. Hey, don't you get pissy with me. Well, I guess I could give it some thought. You really are willing to give me half. See, if I arrested you two clowns, I'd have to fill out a bunch of annoying paperwork, which is honestly a real drag. Whoa, this cop is really understanding. I'll say, I guess some cops are, are good. Right, then let's divvy up what's inside this wallet. Hey, what's the matter? Well, what is it? We just had 
some burgers, right? Yeah, those sure were good. Yeah, they were. They were really good. So what does that have to do with anything? We blew almost everything in the wallet in those two burgers. All those burgers. What? How much is left? Let's see. 420 yen. So half of that is 200 yen. I wonder if he'll handle this. He'll let this slide for 210 yen. Not a chance, man. I wouldn't if I was him. This is where we should... Arguing in front of them, morons. This is where we should show our goodwill and give him the whole 420 yen. You're right. I'm sure he'll understand. Sorry about that. Wait. Here we go. I don't need that. I heard everything you guys were saying. You did? Not interested in spare change. This is a major pain, but follow me to the station. We ain't going nowhere. We don't give up that easily. Probably call for backup. All right, got him. Whoa, that person disappeared. Man, this guy is strong. Yeah, this cop's no joke. He's the real deal. Come on, guys. You know us cops don't have a lot of time on our hands. Please don't make my more work for us. Yeah, but officer, you'd be out of a job without criminals like us. You wouldn't want that to happen, right? Yo, wait a minute. If any, everybody became a good citizen, just think what a great place Kamurocho would be for everybody. Hey, you got a point. Yeah, we should start a movement. We won't do anything bad anymore. And that'll set off a chain and reaction. Soon all of Kamu Kamurocho, Kamurocho will change. Hey, how's it going, draw? Dude, that's a great idea. I'm glad I chose to team up with you. I made the right choice, for sure. Thank you. I mean it, man. Let's start right away. We're still going to the station. You know that, right? Right. Sorry. I'm good. How are you? Man, what a royal pain in the... Excuse me. Yes? This car, it's mine. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, this is yours? I apologize. I'm from the KPD. I just caught a couple of men trying to break into your car. They were what? Is my car all right? Oh, it looks unscathed. What a relief. There's been a lot of br these break-ins lately. Take care, okay? Thank you, officer. Please take this. Not much, but I want to reward you for your effort. Oh. Thank you again. Try golf for a little bit. Nothing much, my friend. Just enjoying the stream. I really need this after some rough time lately. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear about your health. Stu entered the. It's just practice, I think. Oh. Oh, they don't charge you for practicing. That's interesting. yards are we going to get 262 yards it's weird that it's they have it in uh yards but then it has the uh wind speed and meters and that was not good i'm gonna retry that well no maybe not Yep, 
Yep, we're retrying that. Whoops, I... Not good. Ah, screw it. We'll just say. Double bogey. Quick practice. Alright. Th th that's good. Interesting that they don't charge you for practice. Because I feel like they kind of need to make money somehow. But I don't know. Um, in about, not this weekend, but the following weekend, I start my, uh, new, uh, I was gonna say a new job. It's, it's the same, I mean, I'm working at the same place. It's, um, um, going to be doing a, a different position. So I'll be, uh, working overnight. Just basically stocking shelves. When the store's closed, so I won't have to deal with customers, which is kind of nice. Except for, like, the first, maybe, like, I mean, I would probably get there around, like, seven or eight. So the store would be open for like an hour or so. But I mean, for the most part, I wouldn't have to deal with customers. I mean, we're not supposed to like, like if they come up to us, like we don't, we're not supposed to like ignore them, you know, but, oh wait, go back. All right. All right, let's go to the docks. Pepsi. Yes, Pepsi is my favorite pop soda. I'm hoping I could start a schedule for streams after I start my new position. Because for the most part, I'd be working all the same shifts. I mean, there might be like a one or hour difference each day. But I mean, for the most part, it's like I would be mostly working the same time all the time. Uh oh, look. Kamurosho no Tanimura da. Omae ga homo shite morai tagatte iru tte hanashi o kiite yatte kida. Ah, anta ga so ka. Yeah, why? Yeah, don't aim your gun. We should have presented who we are at first. Well, we did, but. You aim a gun at a cop, you're, you should go. You're gonna go to jail. Even if you don't shoot. Now, like, say if you didn't identify yourself, I could maybe see, like, charges being dropped later. Like, you know, you didn't do anything. Like, if it's self-defense and, like, they fail to say, police, we're here to do a wellness check or something, you know. But if they, if they don't do that, then I, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, you never, well, don't, yeah, you never aim a gun at someone. Unless it's absolute, unless it's actually self-defense and you absolutely have to defend yourself. That's, but that's a different story. You don't just go around, uh, aiming a weapon at someone, even if you don't intend to shoot, even if you're like just joking, because you may accidentally fire. And even if you have like the safety off, I mean, if you have safety on, but yeah, I mean, something could still happen. So you got to be very careful with firearms. Anyway. Are, are you a detective? Yeah. I'm here to place you under protection. And you really think you can keep me safe? Only if you keep your part of the bargain. Then give me the dirt on what the Ueno Sewas have been doing behind the scenes, and I'll make sure you stay out of harm's way. Then that's a deal. I'll talk. It's like this. Me and Ihara were ordered to go make a scene at Club Elnerd. Why? Yeah. Don't know. Nobody said. Katsuagi just told us to stir shit up. 
So we followed his orders. But then that Frick showed up. Akiyama from Sky Panius? Yeah. Akiyama. He fucked up the entire game plan. I don't remember nothing after he busted that bottle over my head. Next thing I knew, I was in the champion district. Ihara must have carried me over. Woke up surrounded by garbage bins. No sign of Ihara anywhere. Why the champion district? The two of us get shit-faced there a lot. That, and it's close to Elnerd. Ihara must have been freaking out. I bet someone was chasing him if he ditched hit me like that. I started looking for him so I could find out what happened and figure out his next move. I had no idea what a shitstorm this whole thing had become. Anyway, I've been poking around Kamurocho for a while now. For a while, when I found him. His body, anyway. I practically punked when I... I practically puked when I saw that. Couldn't even process what was going on, you know? All I need was... I was... All I knew was I was a little shitless. Scared shitless. So I ran as far as I could. I ended up at Ueno Sewa headquarters, but I barely remember how I got there. Found an empty room there to chill the fuck out. Thought I'd catch my breath and try to digest all the shit that just went down. That's when I heard Katsuagi. He was in the next room talking to somebody on the phone. Where did he say? What did he say? Can't say I heard everything. He was in another room and he'd already been talking a while. But it sounded like he was talking to the cops. The word police came up a lot. But it's when he said next that freaked me out. He said, Ihara's dead. Just as planned. We'll get rid of Mishima as soon as we find him. I got the fuck out right out then. And there, thankfully, before nobody saw me. Anybody saw me. I've been keeping it low pro ever since. <laughs> Uh, well, You're one surprise after the next, kid. Getting this close to the truth and all by yourself, I'm damn near impressed. You don't seem too phased by all this. Let's just say I had a feeling you'd show up. Heh, so you baited organized crime to see if you could lure out the traitor? Something like that. And you're not and you're not surprised to see it's me. Not really. Though I can't say I wanted it this way. How do you know it was me? Gambler's d dumb luck. Detective's hunch. Tsukiyuchi-san. A good hunch comes from keen observation. Didn't you learn that back at the academy? <laughs> Must have slipped my mind. So, what tipped you off? I've known you were no ordinary cop for a while now. It's your fancy shoes. They always look brand new. Not basically practical for a homicide cop working under murder scenes. Normal cop buys cheap shoes and wears them into the ground. The watch, too. It's way too expensive for a detective salary. It's so high-end, I doubt your average person's ever even heard of the brand. And if they did, their heels would explode at the price tag. <laughs> well, don't you have it all? Instincts and a sharp eye. Please. Tsukiyuchi's on. Tsukiyuchi san, you think it, you really think it was all me? Mm -hmm. You haven't exactly been subtle. The rescue staged when I met up with Katsuagi, sending Chief Kisai head to Homeland. It almost feels like you've been wanting me to catch on. What are you talking about? You've been working with Katsuagi for the last 25 years, but now you've grown tired of your little partnership, haven't you? I paid a visit to Archive Room 13. I saw the report on the Ueno Sewa hit. What? You and my dad were both assigned to that case. 
Only the two of you could have covered up something as big as Katsuagi butchering 18 of his own people. And I know it wasn't him. You were ordered by someone up top to alter the facts, weren't you? All to protect your good friend, Katsuagi. Tell me I'm wrong. Shut your goddamn mouth. Not even phased. You don't know the first fucking thing about that case. Or, or about me. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> that failed, I guess. ここまで出す勇士。お前が上の聖和会の勝ち投げと内通していたことは割れている。無駄な抵抗はやめて、おとなしく投稿しろ。くそ。杉内さん。もう終わりにしましょう。俺の招待したとこで結局何にも出やしねえんだ。動くな。ここで撃ったらあんた終わりだ。日本の警察ってのはな。撃てねえんだよ。そうだろ。一課長、何してるんですか。命令を。これが警察って組織が引き込んで守ってる正義ってやつだ。お前にも分かったか。Oh. <coughs> oh, that was me. Right. <laughs> right.現場で Hey, you better hurry up. I guess they just leave the keys in there.
Go, go, go! We're actually doing pretty good. Got more health than you do. Meet up with your buddy, probably. Why even t turn off the boat if you're in a hurry? What do you think you're gonna need to go back in it?
Damn it. What's the pause button not working? Ah, then it barely did anything. Good, got him. Got him. Oh, Halt's going up a little bit. But that's not all. That We're not done. And now this is not the final boss. I believe it is the final chapter of him, though. I forgot his name. I thought he said it was him. Yeah. All なんで警察官が警察官を殺さなきゃならねえんだよ。だから言ったじゃねえか。違うんだって。俺はな。そもそも警察官じゃねえ。え？俺はな。国道なんだよ。どういうことだ？俺と勝也が。<笑> そっちの世界でいうとこの兄弟。つまり親友ってことだ。な。
んだって俺初めから上の世話会側の人間なんだ警察の内部事情をスパイするために警察学校に入りでかいになったヤクザそれが俺だあんたがヤクザそうだあ、oh, ヤクザ That's weird. That's the first time I heard in the series that, this, that he says Yakuza and not Gotoku. The subtitles would typically still say Yakuza, though. Unless I misunderstood what he said. April 21st, 無断ですよああ死ぬほどじゃないですが威力は相当なもんだったでしょう桂木お前何言った Now you're dead 桂木てめえ何してっっ Shinane 大丈夫だしばらくしたら目を覚ますだろうあとは頼んだぜあらい以上が西島大河による上野義ある襲撃事件の顛末ですなるほど。ご苦労だったな。Let's find it suspicious. いえ、これが自分の仕事ですから。おお、嘘の報告書を書くことが可能。何のことでしょうか。無理がありすぎるよ、杉内君
この程度の報告書で私の目をごまかせるとでも思ったのかねあの狭い店内犯人の最中が20人もの組員とやり合うにはかなり無茶な乱闘になったはずだ当然西島も抵抗を受けただろうそれなのに死んだ18人は皆すべて正確に頭を打ち抜かれているこの西島という男はよほど射撃に手慣れた鉄砲玉だったんだろうねさらに検視の報告を見ると面白いことがわかる事件当日組員たちは防弾チョッキを身につけていなかった不用心にもねそして頭を打ち抜かれた組員たちは全員体にゴム弾を被弾したような傷があった君も知ってるだろう警察がボート鎮圧用に試験開発した特殊な弾丸だまだ実験段階ではあるが相手を気絶させる程度の威力は十分にあるだが犯人はどうして警察関係者しか知らないはずのゴム弾を入手できたのかなそもそも致命傷を与えることができないゴム弾で一度相手を気絶させその上でわざわざ実弾を使って殺害したりするものだろうかいやもしそうだとしたら不思議な犯人だねそして上野義治以外に唯一生き残った桂木という男だけはなぜか肩に実弾を受けている正確に標的の頭を打ち抜く腕を持った犯人が桂木の時だけ狙いを外したんだろうか村方部長杉内君この事件私の推測では桂木という男が仕組んだことだったのではないかと思うどうかね、うん、西島大河は桂木に利用されただけだこのことに有能な君が思い至らなかったとはとても思えないのだがねそれは<笑>杉内君一つ君に頼みがある頼み私に桂木伊佐を引き合わせなさいそうすれば今回のこの事件君の報告書通りの結末にするよどうだねうん。どうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうだねどうこれでお前も分かっただろう。敵は果てしなく強大な存在だ。はあ、これで楽になった。三十年だ。うん。三十年も偽りの自分を演じてきたんだ。誰にも話せず。誰にも理解されずになこの苦しみがお前に理解できるかあんた俺は一体何がしたかったのか25年前のあの日宗方を桂木に引き合わせたあの日から俺は警察と極道両方の犬になっちまった本当の自分の目的なんてもうすっかり忘れちまったよお前はいいなデカとして生きられて偽りとはいえ30年もデカやってるとそれなりに人に感謝されたり喜ばれたりすることも俺はその度に悩み苦しんだ果たして俺は
何がしたいんだろうってな事件を解決するや人から感謝されるそうなりゃ頭じゃダメだと分かっていても心の奥底では嬉しいという感情を覚えちまう俺もさお前みてえに悩んで苦しんで走って力いっぱいでかいやってみたかったな杉内さんはいおしろよお前は自分の力で父親の仇捕まえたんだ It's something happens. どうした一つ教えてくれ。うん。宗方の目的ってのは何だ宗方はあんたへカツアゲを使って何をしようとしているんだお前の目的は俺を捕まえることだろう。それは達成できたんだ。これ以上は知らない方がいい。ダメなんだよそれじゃあそれじゃあダメだって親父が言ってる気がするんだまだ事件は終わってないだから俺は胸肩を捕まえるそれを知ったら日本の警察すべてを敵に回すぞそれでもいいのか親父の死の真相を知るために刑事になった時から覚悟はできてるそうかI knew that was going to happen. I couldn't remember exactly how he would have been shot, but I knew he, I knew, I knew he was going to die. He's not dead yet, but oh, it was him. Try CPR. I'm sure that's not going to help, but it's worth a try at least. Alright. Yeah, that's a call. そうか杉内が死んだかええ命令通り始末しましたんええ二人ともですこれから谷村の身の回りの事実を知る人間を始末しますI don't. Okay. I kind of forgot he、uh, turned. Well, probably wasn't on her side to begin with.
あ,あんたマーチャに何をするつもりだそう、私はキリュウ。キリュウの。ああ、パート3。Okay, got an detective. Got a detective. Got an achievement. Part 4. キリュウ・カズマ。Chapter 1. Reunion. Back in Okinawa. First person. Morning glory. Oh, it's him. Hey, he survived. He's hurt, but he survived. どうしたんだ、ハルカ。よ、久しぶりだな、お前。浜崎あいつはあんたのことが嫌いなのかなるほどなまあ無理もねえところで浜崎お前脱獄してきたのかどうして脱獄なんかしたんだそんなことをしてもまた罪を重くするだけだそうだろう何日か前西島という男がここを訪れたその時にお前の名前を口にしていたんだがその話本当かああそうか西島のやつちゃんと生き延びていたのかそうかやはり知り合いなのかああそれで西島はどうした ちゃんとカムロ町には行けたのかああ、向かったその後無事にたどり着いたかまではわからないがなそうかそうかお前あの西島って男とはどういう関係だったのそれでブロークアウトトゥギャザーそうだね、俺の兄弟分だ兄弟キルあんたにどうしても頼みがある何してるんだお前俺は兄弟を男にしてやりてだから頼む俺の最初で最後の頼み聞いてくれ All right so Amazaki what do you want uh, Well it's kind of a long story, but Saijima, this guy who bumped off Yoshiharu Ueno, chairman of the Ueno Sewa back in 85. Wait, that's... Yep, you spend enough time in Kamurocho, you're going to hear his story. 
Sai Jama killed 18 Kamin, all by himself that day. No, not entirely. Not really. That's what they say. Anyways, the two of us only just met. Both locked up in a private prison a stone's throw away from here. What do you mean, private prison? I mean, the government's not involved. They put the contract to, in place, yeah, but the private sector's been running the joint since the day they broke ground. They call it Okinawa Penitentiary Number Two. Take it, take it. You never heard the name? No, I had no, I had no idea a place like that existed in Okinawa. They officially call it a correctional facility, but that's a load of bull. It's a dumping ground for washed-up gotoku. They want to stuff, snuff out for good. It was only a few days ago that Saijima got shipped down from wh whatever shithole they had him up in Tokyo. Which is when you met. Bingo. And you two playing the jailbreak together? More or less. Though I'm not the one who came up with the idea, if I'm being honest. Why do you pick Saijima as your partner? You saw him, right? Guy's built like a freaking brick ball. Well, more importantly, I knew what really happened back in 85. The truth. Go on. Back in the day, Saijima was real tight with Majima. Yeah, that Majima. And that Ueno Sewa hit, the one where Saijima slaughtered those 18 years, 18 guys, that was originally going to be a two-man job, Saijima and Majima. Majima-san and Saijima were accomplices? Yep. But the day of the attack, Majima never showed. That betrayals how I convinced Saijima to break out with me. Explains why Saijima was talking about revenge when he was here. It's all bullshit, though. Majima would never have betrayed his brother. They were both set up. By who? Guy named Shibata. Was heading up a third tier Tojo family at the time. Problem is, Saijima and I got split up before I got to tell him what really happened. I think I guess... I get... I think I can guess the favor you want. Yeah, you gotta tell him the truth no matter what. Why is it so important? As it stands, Saijima is gonna try and kill Majima. Not only that, but... But... But, I really respect him. He doesn't deserve to be a living life in the dark, you know? Hmm. I mean, sure, I only asked him to help me bust out because of how tough he is. But he actually started trusting me during the escape. Me, of all people. Look, my life's been nothing but betrayal after betrayal. I've been on both sides of that coin. But two people looked beyond that. Chose to trust me anyway. You and Saejima. Hamazaki, I want another chance to start over, to be a true brother and a guy who went out of a limb and actually trusted me. So I'm begging you, Kidu son, you gotta help me. One question first. What's that? Why do you need me to do it? Can't you tell Saijima all this yourself? Well, I. What is it, Hamazaki? Another cutscene. And more traditional cutscene. I, the other ones, I guess you could say that that was a cutscene too, but not like this. Hmm. その資金面での金の流れがかかれてる。これは。うん。そうだ。今から something poking me all right a year back when I was still s s suckling the Tojo clan to 
I found out that the top brass over at the Tokyo PD had their hands dirty. Real dirty with tons of shady cash. But, I bet you could guess where I learned that. Snake flower. Yep. They'd been working with one of the top men on the force for years. Laundered his money through foreign banks and everything. Why go through all that trouble, though? What did the police need to need with all that cash? What they needed was to build what what, what one of their highest-ranking boys called their utopia. Penitentiary number two. Right again. The idea was they'd build a place to toss all the con convicted Yakuza they round up, then go and make deals with those very same Yakuza. Kind of deals. Stuff like bribing people to commit crimes. Then when the cops came in and saved the day, everyone would think they were the heroes. Crime would become a police-controlled affair. That's absurd. Yeah, an absurd power grab. Whoever handled these crimes would get big brownie points on the force. End up rocketing, rocketing up the ranks. I still can't believe the 10 billion Jingu was trying to launder through the Tojo. Was, was supposed to end up with the cops. Believe me. I was just as surprised as you when I found out. Even when the money getting blown to high heaven, the paper trail alone is some serious shit. Honestly, the only reason I grabbed this file in the first place is because I wanted a little dirt on the warden. Something I could use to bargain my way out of here, you know. But I gotta say, I never thought I'd stumble on a shitstorm this massive. Almost feels like it's out of my league, if you get me. I show up on Tokyo PD's doorstep with this baby in tow, and that'd be the last anyone ever hears of me. Hmm. Turns out this file's not the bargaining chip I was hoping it'd be. It's yours now. But why me? Because you were at the center of everything that went down five years ago. Hell. You even had to beat the shit out of your own brother at the end of it all. Then, eh. Nah. Kid you? Come on, don't give me that silent treatment here. I just don't get it. Why did you show me that? I already told you. You gotta go to Kamarocho and tell my boy Saijima what really... There's more to there's more to it than that. I know there is. Besides, you would end up behind bars again in no time without this bargaining chip of yours. So tell me, Habazaki, what are you really after? Tojo clan destroyed. Okay. Orelanga inakunachimata Tojo Kaide. Ima tundemone kotono kotokunda. Orelana kiryu. Anthony Moich to Anomachino Chote ni tatte murai tendero. Oh, Haruka's listening. March 9th, 2010, the next day. Huh? Had she in the house. Yo. Kids are home. We're home, Uncle Kaz. Looks like you kids had a good trip. Forgot they went on a trip. Enjoy yourselves. Oh yeah, it was awesome. We hiked, went camping, even saw some old bones and stuff at a museum. Wasn't it super cool, Koji? Mm-hmm. You gotta do go with us sometime, Uncle Kaz. How was your grades trip, Ayako? Great. Oh, did they go to different places? Nee, nee, ojisan. Ano hito wa? Amazak 
この子たちに近づかないでハルカおじさんは黙ってて私はねこの人のこと許したわけじゃないのおじさんは忘れたのこの浜崎って人は1年前おじさんのこと刺したんだよ私それ目の前で見てたんだよ<笑>そうだよな俺は悪党だもんな浜崎悪かったなはるかちゃんよその子たちに近づこうとしてはるかもういいだろうよくないいいわけないじゃないおじさんは本当に浜崎って人のこと信用してるのああしてるよもういいもう私おじさんがどうなっても知らないから She's mad at him now. No, she's just gonna get over it. What's that on the roof? Or is that a different building? I don't know. What was, oh, that was, uh. That? This. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, they got a TV now. Nice. Didn't have that before. I wonder when they got that. I know, like, smartphones haven't exact Didn't... Like, this takes place in 2010. Smartphone... There were smartphones then. No, I, yeah, I, I know, but... They didn't, like, take off like they... Where they are today. I didn't get my first smartphone until 2012. I just picked that up. Off you go, little guy, he says. I doubt there's anything over here. Where's the fishing pole go? You're going back to Kamanocho, aren't you? Haruka, I... I just don't get it, Uncle Kaz. How can you trust him so easily? He stabbed you in broad daylight, Uncle Kaz. He almost died. I'll never trust him. 
Never in a million years. Out of cock, please. Whenever I see him, I just think back to what happened just happened last year. What did he what he did to you? That memory that memory terrifies me, Oz. Haruka, I've always believed in you. You know I have. But this time I'm really worried. It hurts. It feels like if you go to Tokyo now, you're never gonna come back. You heard us talking last night, huh? Maybe you wanna know what happened five years ago, but I don't care one way or another. I just want you to be safe. You don't care? Haruka. You lost both of your parents in the incident. I lost Nishiki and Kazuma-san. There's, if there really was something more going on behind the scenes, wouldn't you want to know what was, was about? I, I'm happy just being here with you, Uncle Kaz. Come on, Kaz. Oh. That's all I need. Not the truth. Just you, Arika. キリュは東京へ行かない。それに俺も今すぐここを出て行くよ。山崎。もう決めたんだ。俺は最初に真実が伝わりゃそれでいい。それは他の誰かに頼むでしょう。だから、キリュさんよ。あのファイルのことは
ちょっと警察署の前では都合が悪いなもしよければ少しお話を聞かせてもらえませんかえもしかして兄のことで何かご存知なんですかああ場合によっちゃあんたの力になれるかもしれんとにかく人目のつかない場所に行こうお付き合いいただけますかはいはい Oh, wait a minute. Why does this place look familiar? Oh, okay. Yeah, this was in the third game. The heck is this place, Kiryu? The ex hideout of a family called the Kamashiro I crossed swords with last year. It's been empty for a while now. And I guess they left their fans on. Or. Or we turned them on when we got in here. I don't know. Maybe they come on automatically. If there's anywhere we won't be interrupted, it's here. So, how are you? So, are you ready to talk? We might be able to find where your brother is if we pull all the information we have right. Now, you said you were Taiga's sister? Taiga? That's right. My name is Yasuko Saijima. I haven't seen my brother for 25 years now. Every single day, I tried to visit him in prison. But they never once let me in to see him. Not a, not a single time in all those years. Then just a few days ago, I heard he was being transferred to penitentiary number two down in Okinawa. Hmm. As soon as they told me, I left Kamadocho and raced down here. But no matter how many times I ask, all the authorities insist such a place has never existed. That's what we walked in on. Yes. I'm at my wit's end here. Yasuko-san. Yeah? Anyone ever t who told you penitentiary number two doesn't exist either doesn't know the truth or was lying to you. Real, all right. What? I should know. I've been there. You have? Oh, yeah. They gave it some fancy name and number like a regular old prison, but it's not actually government-run. You ever hear of a private prison? Of course. And that's what penitentiary number two is. Yep. Details are going to have to come later, though. I've got some more more important news for you first. Truth of the matter is, I know your brother. You know Taiga? Mm-hmm. Oh, and here's another grain of truth for you. He's long gone from Okinawa. Probably reached Kamadocho by now, if I had to guess. Me and him broke out together a few days ago. You... what? He's telling the truth. Your brother washed up at my orphanage the next day. And I ended up giving him some money to get up to Kamadocho. Sorry, Yasuko. You just missed him. In that case, I can't afford to waste any more time here. I need to get back to Kamadocho at once. Uh oh. Do you go to the どうした変な連中が大量にビルに入ってきやがった刺すかもしれんどうするキリュウ今警察に捕まったら説明するのに時間がかかるとりあえずここを出ようはい Go, 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 go. So that's the bitch who were who went running to the police, begging you to see Saijima. 
Who are these guys? Hamazaki? Guards from that shithole penitentiary I was telling you about. These pricks are the cruelest goons in the business. <laughs> Rich coming from an escaped convict. Look, I'll go back with you. Whatever I gotta go. Whatever I gotta do. Just leave these two out of it. They don't got a damn thing to do with this. No can do. Don't worry, Hamazaki. We're not gonna kill you. But you're gonna need a serious attitude adjustment once we get you back in the slammer. Might have to beat you till you change. Either way, the bitch isn't going anywhere. Why? This is between you and me. Sorry, but Warden's orders. He told me to bring him Taiga's Saijima's sister, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. What just me? Why? This is a little Hamazaki. Huh? Take care of Yasuko san. What? What are you saying? Did you I'll handle the guards. You stay behind me and keep her safe. Understand? Yeah. You hear that? If you want to get to Yasuko, we're going to have to go through me. And who are you, Tokai? Some, someone who's spent almost a quarter of his life in prison. And I can tell you're no ordinary guards. Hmm. Step aside, Hal, or who knows. We might just accidentally beat you to death. I think you'll find that's not as easy as you expect. Heh, <laughs> your funeral. No fucking around. Slaughtering him. Or slaughter him, I should say. Alright, so we're gonna kill these guys, or beat them up. Get up. That's tough. Maybe this guy should go to jail.
Okay. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to. All right, take the gun. Wherever it is. How'd I get over here? Who knows? Watch out. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> 
Stop it! Damn it! Why is this guy... Okay. Alright, let's go up here. Then. Damn it! not have jurisdiction over here. Get up! Got him. You were saying? It was tough, but we got him. All right. あんたも命を狙われてるようだ。<笑> あ、行こう。
必ずあなたのことを伝えますいいから行けさあ行こう From Oremo, oh, Yavani, that Chiman Mitakino. I don't really know, I don't know what happened there exactly, but Chapter Two to Kamalocho. Him? Leaving already, Machan? You know, Zao-san, you've been a better friend to me than I've ever been to you. Don't be ridiculous. You know that's not true. I'm just sorry the truth turned out to be so harsh. Your father murdered by another man on the forest. I can barely believe it. You tell me. Something about all this doesn't sit well with me. How will your fa how will your father's spirit ever find peace? I think he'll be just fine. Hmm? Chief Hisai. Tsukiyuchi san. They were tried they were tired of being used by Muna Munakara and Katsuagi. All these years. Hmm. The two of them spent their whole lives serving others. But their final moments, those were theirs. And theirs alone. They went out following their order, their own braid, brand of justice. Machan. Tsukiyuchi-san must have been telling me the truth of what happened 25 years ago. Was signing his own death warrant. But he did it anyway. Chief Hisai, he took his own life in order to spare you, me, and Mayhow. That explains what you said. That explains what he said into the phone before he shot himself. Both of them will be dealt with. Yeah. Chief Hisai told M Munakata I was dead so he'd stop coming after me. He spared my life so that I could do what's right. So that I could do what he never could. You mean bring... Munakata down? Exactly. But n how are you going to do all that? Do that, Machan. Munakata is one of the most powerful men in the one of the top police institutions in the world. Well, I don't think I'll be getting much help from my fellow officers, that's for sure. Sure. Oh. Nihao. Akiyama-san. <laughs> The shit's really hit the proverbial fan, huh? You're telling me. Anyway, what's up? You wouldn't swing by here without a good reason. Mm. You know, sometimes it's depressing how sharp you are. What happened? Structure attorneys, goons showed up at my office, started tearing the place apart at the seams. Not to mention, they chucked me out on the street. Wait, they're investigating Sky Finance? On what grounds? They said they're looking at into some kind of coercion. The exact terms eluding me at the moment. Anyway, the issue is my test. They said I'm forcing people to do stuff they don't want to do in exchange for money. Classic coercion case, I guess. Heh. It's like I could hear the words coming out of the DA's mouth himself. Anyway, I don't know what I don't know where else to turn. So I thought I'd drop by now. Here. Looks like I caught you at a bad time, though. Want me to come back later? No, your timing actually couldn't be better. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I need a hand with something. Akiyama. Akiyama-san. So they're all the same place now. March 13th, 5 p.m. Kiryu-san. どうやらいつものカムロ町って感じじゃないな。<笑> 
lot of police. I can think of a better place to talk than New Sedena. Yasuko-san, there's a bar near here that I used to go to back in the day. We can catch our breath there for a bit. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Uh, not save up right now. I'll do that. Okay. What's the truck doing here? Someone moving? Head up the stairs in the alley right back and tear Sky Dam Sky Finance to shreds. We're not leaving until we haul every last document they've got. And whatever they try and say, just tell them we're under orders from the district attorney's office. That's all they need to know. Now, get a move on. Yay. I wonder what happened. Uh, why is he working there? Well, Maybe just make some money on the side. On the side or something. <coughs> What's going on, Kiryu? You show up in a guy's bar and don't even drop a line first? Sorry for the let, for not letting you know, Dante san I have some business in town. Work never ends for the ex-fourth chairman, huh? We got that right. Anyway, this is Yasuko Saijima. I'm 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 here helping her with a little something. It's nice to meet you. Oh, pleasure's all mine. She's a knockout, Kidu. How do you end up bringing a girl like her back here, huh? Whatever you're thinking, I guarantee you you've got the wrong idea. Let's leave it at that. By the way, where's Mama? Gone for the week. Family trouble. You know how it goes. And you're holding down the fort while she's gone? Yep. It's a real pain with my other work and all. But she insists we keep it open for the regulars. Lucky for us that she does. Now, Kidu. What's this little something you need to take care of? Oh, right. You mind taking a seat, Yasuko-san? Um, please. I just need to ask you something before we head out to find your brother. So, what is it you want to ask me? Sorry if this is a blunt question, but why do you need to see your brother so bad? Bad enough to murder for it. Wait. You what? Kidu son. Is this really the best place to Don't worry about Dante son. He's an ex-detective. Yeah, but we could trust him. I promise. He never turned you in on without hearing what you had to say first. Isn't that right, Dante son? Well, uh yeah. That's right. Now tell me the truth. Yasuko san, why would you go so far for your brother? I Yasuko-san, come on. It's because this taiga is everything to me. I owe him my life. What? I'm serious. If it weren't for him, I would have died years ago. Go on. Have you ever heard of a living donor kidney transplant? Oh yeah. You read about those things all the time. You read about those things all the time. That's when they give you a kidney from one of your relatives, right? They say you only need one, after all. Right. The truth of it is, I'm the recipient of one of those living donor transplants. And your brother's the one who gave it to you, huh? That's what you meant when you said you owe him your life. Yes. Hold on. Getting a transplant like that from your sibling isn't all that uncommon. I'm not judging or anything, but do you really owe him that much just for a kidney? It's not that simple. Think you can explain? The kidney I got... 
It wasn't Tygos. He was a match. What? Different blood types? Well, yes, but... But what? Why couldn't you get the transplant from your brother? Yes, you could. I, um... I think I get what's going on here. You and Taiga aren't actually siblings. Kid you. He's right. Taiga is my stepfather's son from his prior marriage. While my mother... Okay. While my mother had me before she and my stepfathers ever met. met. Then where'd you find a match? Since my mother had already passed, Taiga tracked down my biological father and begged him to donate his kidney to me. Saitama. Beyond the regular difficulty of finding a kidney donor, my blood type is extremely rare. A direct relative was my only hope of a match. Once Taiga learned that, he spent every waking moment of his life scouring the city until he found my father. He was only 15 years old at the time. Still just a kid, huh? I had honestly given up hope. Before my mother died, she told me my father was nothing more than an abusive drunk with no chance of ever changing. Based on what I knew, it seemed likely he was already dead, even if he wasn't. I didn't want to live without without knowing I owed my life to such a horrible man. All the, At the time, I would have rather died than continue on carrying a part of me, him inside me. But Taiga wouldn't take no for an answer. He said no matter what happened, he would take care of me. Then he found your dad. Yes. Well, where was he? In Kansai. He had started working for a Yakuza organization called the Omi Alliance. Handling handling the dirty jobs nobody else wanted to do. Omi? That's right. Taiga went alone to Kansai, knowing full well that my father was a Yakuza. But, let me guess. They tried to exhort him. Exactly. A Yakuza through and through. My father demanded a massive sum of money in exchange for one of his kidneys. How, mu how much cash can he are we talking here? 30 million yen. 30 million? That's a ton now, but it was a fortune back then. How was a kid ever supposed to get his hands on that kind of money? He wasn't. That was the point. But Taiga didn't give up. He started fighting thugs in the streets of Kamadosho, trying to scrape together whatever funds he could. That would never work. Not for cash like that. Didn't not until Sasai san from the Tojo clan stepped in. He gave Taiga the 30 million under one condition. He joined the Sasai family. So that's how he ended up in the Tojo. All the time, all, all that time, Taiga never turned his back on me. Even when it seemed like all hope was lost, he supported me. He dropped out of high school, gave up on his dream job of becoming a teacher, even joined the Yakuza for me. So that's what you meant when you said you owe him your life. That's right. He's a everything to me. Not only did Taiga literally save my life, but he gave me the will to keep on living. Yasuko-san. そうじゃないとか。真犯人は別にいるとか。そんなのはどうでもいいんです。私にとってお兄ちゃんはお兄ちゃんだから。あんたにはここで待っていてもらう。少しこの店で頭を冷やした方がいい。え？あ？何言
But having a hard life doesn't excuse the way you live. Not that I have any right to talk. I've made my fair share of mistakes. You do. I understand why you feel so strongly. That emotion has led you to some bad decisions. It's not, it's not a stretch to say it's completely clouded your judgment. So, I need you to stay here while I go figure out where your brother is. For your, it's for your own good. But, heed you. Don't worry. I'll find him. And I'll make sure you two are reunited. I promise. But for now, you just need to be patient. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. Yasuko-san. Take care of her for me, will you? You even have to ask. All right, let's find a save point. Nice. Hold on a sec. Hey, do you? What's wrong? There's something I need to tell you. Couldn't really say it in there. Does it involve Yasuko-san? You bet. If she found out about this, she'd just end up getting herself into more trouble. Well? What is it? Well, you only just got here, so you probably haven't noticed. The whole town's kind of been kind of on edge lately. Because of Saijima? Partially, I'm sure. But there's more to it than that. Word on the street is Majima and Saijima linked up a few days ago. What? Yep. I hear Majima had his boys line the whole damn street to keep the cops off Saijima. Huh. So they've already met. Speaking of, Date-san, do you know where I could find Majima-san? I need to talk to him as soon as possible. Now, not just about Saijima. Majima-san might be able to tell me more about the co connection between the top police brass, Jingu, and the Tojo clan. The police? What are you talking about? Sorry. But I can't say much more than that. Just know that people are gunning for the Tojo. And no matter what's going down, I need to hear Majima-san's side of the story. Alright. Last I heard, he's taken root on the top floor of the Millennium Tower. That doesn't surprise me. Starting... Starting there is your best bet. Take a short moment from reading that. Great. Thanks. Ooh, yeah, I do need a break. Hmm? Got an email. Hey, do. Go to Yoshida Batting Center. Let's finish what we started four years ago. That's much fun. Four years ago. 2005? <laughs> what that said? 2,200? Okay, whatever. Guess I'll find out what is it. Alright. So let's go to save. Umaki here. It's been ages. Hideo, if you're here in Kamanocho, come see me. I'll be waiting at my dojo in the Dragon Palace. It's text from Master Konapi. I wonder if he's had one of his apprentices write this. Move. On a secret special patrol. Gonna move on if you don't have any business here. Alright guys, that is going to be it for now. I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.